in the market for some rare old artifacts? Look no further. Yeah, Cody was in Grass Valley this morning checking it out the 25th annual Old West Show. We're at the Grass Valley Old West Show, and every square foot that I walk, my jaw drops even more. Fred Hollenberg, thank you so much for ha hanging out with us this morning. Thank you. Thanks for coming. But inside this case right here is is a history that has been forgotten, and and it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. It, it is absolutely unbelievable. And you know, we hear about all this stuff all our lives when we're kids and everything, and wanted posters and rewards and shootouts and stagecoach holdups and everything, and it's all right here. It's all right there in that glass. Okay, so let's let's break it down. Uh, right here, this Pinkerton uh, National Detective Agency thing. Pinkerton uh, went after a lot of the big outlaws mm. of the 19th century and into the 20th century. This is, these are original Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid wanted posters. Pinkerton did them differently than the state of California and Wells Fargo. They had a, a flyer and it opened up into a poster form. The one on the left was before they called him the Sundance Kid. The one on the right, he'd already, he'd gotten that nickname. Wow, that these was pre-Sundance Kid before they called him the Sundance Kid. Holy cow, holy right. cow. Uh, this piece right here, very special. This is an incredibly special piece. It's a discovery piece. It's the eight guys, uh, key responsible the responsibility for the Underground Railroad. Uh, they were the people that formed the Anti-Slavery Committee of Philadelphia uh, and uh, other or, uh, related organizations. It came with a special handwritten note identifying each one, and you might want to read that. Uh, Don't have my glasses on, brother. Well, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, op we'll open it in a minute. <laughs> this is incredible. Why is it so important to preserve these, this history? I mean, it's. It, I feel like some of this stuff is getting lost. It's 2000, uh, you know, we're, we're in this 22nd century thing, and these stories are lost. Mm. They're just, as we go through time, the stories get older. And so uh, if it starts as a rumor, it's gonna morph 20 times by the time it gets to your grandkids. Uh. But this is the real thing, this is it. Here's Black Bart, you know, the poet robber, the guy who robbed stagecoaches right here in the, mo uh, yeah. in the mother load. Um, and here's a wanted poster for Bill Miner, the gray fox, the guy that Farnsworthy played in the movie. Yeah, uh, That's the real thing. Uh, a lot of folks don't know it, but this is where he got his start, was in the mother load robbing stagecoaches, and they, they were on his trail. He moved up to the Northland, which ultimately where they caught him. Incredible. Yes. Incredible. Uh, you have to be part detective. You have to, you have to I don't know, what, what is it like being you and, and finding these great things and, and helping to get them a new home? It's difficult because you get into these things that you have no idea. For instance, this spectacular piece here about the Underground Railroad um, and the anti-slavery movement. These are things that aren't written up in history and they scream at you. And you know, to uncover this was amazing because there's very little written on those eight individuals identified on that paper. Yet you get into this, the guy in the lower right wrote a book called The Underground Railroad and it should be required reading. When I read that online, I just, I blew a gasket. It was incredible, it was phenomenal. It's a part of history we never learned about. Yeah. And it's really important in American history to me. It's, it's exceptionally important. Fred, I could talk to you all day long, man. Fascinating. Come out to the Old West Show. I'm telling you, every square foot, you're going to just drop your draw. It's, it's amazing. Your jaw will drop. All right, back to you guys in the studio.